Welcome to your favorite show, The Discussion. I'm your host, Chelsea Okunji. If you are just joining us, you're tuned into the GBKM network. If you haven't yet, you should download our app. Search GBKM on iOS and Android platforms to be able to download our free app where you can keep up to date with what's going on with us, with all the OAPs, catch your live shows, catch the past shows, and also set your notifications for shows that are going on at the moment, just like this one. So you can always keep track of what we're doing with our app. Remember to download the app today. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything. And most, most importantly, you get to keep up with everything that we have going on. If for some reason you're not able to download the app or you're not in a place where you can download the app right now, you can also keep up to date with what we have going on on our website. Just go to www.gbkm.tv or you can also search www.gbkm.fm to be able to keep up with what we have going on, look at our past shows, get some merchandise, watch some movies, and just be informed. Now, if I haven't said this yet to our viewers, I'd like to welcome you again to a very special episode. And today's episode is just going to be amazing. From the title, I'm sure you can already tell that this is about a movie and not only is it about a movie, it's about a Nigerian produced movie here in Canada. As a special guest willing to talk about this and give us more information, we have none other but than the director and the producer of this movie, Prince James Abifade. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Welcome, for welcome, welcome to the thank studio. You. How are you doing today? I'm good, I'm good. Um, uh, I'm so happy yes. to be here. We thank God for that. And That's what we want. Me, still. So yeah. let's just get right into it. You are the director and the producer of this movie, Not For Sale. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about it. Oh, um, thank you for this opportunity. Okay. Um, not For Sale. Um, is a movie about um, um, Ola Inka, okay. who lost his wife to a brief illness in Toronto. Okay. And um, he was offered to marry a young and naive girl from Africa. Mm. And when she came, um, a younger boy, mm. um, a streetwise boy <laughs> that understood um, the dynamics um, of what Ola Inka was facing mm. and um, he took advantage of this young bride because she doesn't really understand what, you know, what it, um, w what it takes to be here in Toronto. Mm. And um, along the line, Ola Inka tried to um, uh, meet up with his bride, his young bride needs, but he couldn't. Mm. And the story goes on like that. Let me just keep you, you know, keep you suspend, interested, you know. suspended. So yeah. <laughs> that's actually a very good introduction. So yeah. now you know that this is something that you have to look forward to and you have to tune into once it comes out. Yes. When is this um, premiering? When is the premiere of your movie? Yeah, uh, October 2nd, 2021 okay. at uh, Luna Ballroom. Okay. Um, 30 Gordon McCain. Okay. Um, Jane Street, actually, okay. yeah, behind the McDonald. Yeah. Awesome. That's right. So you can also get tickets. You can go on our website on www.gbkm.tv to be able to get tickets for, um, for this premiere. You don't want to miss it. Now let's go back to the man behind this movie, the mogul that has made this a possibility. Tell us about your story. How did your journey begin? Wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Your journey into movie producing, directing, making, how did it start? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Ah, it's been a long, long time. I mean, when I was a little boy, it mm -hmm. started when I was a little boy. Um, I joined, I was fortunate to join um, a, a group mm -hmm. called um, CYO, Creative Youth Organization. Mm. And then in Ikoi, Aolo Road. That's Nigeria. In Nigeria. Mm. And um, that's where I go to clear off my mind from the drama um, at home. And that's wow. where I started, you know, having the flair for filmmaking. Because there I learned how to be, what it takes to be in the stage, 
and uh, was part of um, um, that group for a long time wow. before I came to Canada. So when I got to Canada, I said to myself, uh, what, can, what else can I do? <laughs> the only one thing I know that I love, that I have passion for. Is what you have been. Yeah, is the moving to. picture. Yeah. So I got my admission into college. I okay. studied broadcasting and film. Okay. And um, it was challenging though. So, but um, you know, thank God I'm here. That's good. Like, congratulations, because we don't hear a lot of stories about people that start introduced to it at such a young age. Um, from what we gathered, you were introduced to this film industry from about between the ages of six and ten. Yes, yes, that's, I was in primary school. Wow, yes. that's quite a privilege. Most people don't even know what they're doing within those ages. Yeah. But <laughs> here you are. And then you came, you took it up in notch, you went to college for yes. it, yes. studied it, and then now this is your baby. This is your first... Oh, <laughs> precious baby. I mean... I, it, 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 it's a dream come true. I can imagine. It's a dream come true. Uh, I'm still having good pimples in my body. <laughs> like, wow. How long did it take from the inception and the planning till the final product that you have right now? How long did that take to, you know, plan, execute, and just, you know, have what you have right now? Um, it took a, a, a while. Like, uh, I think up to three years. Wow. Um, I was... I was going through some challenges okay and um i had to like clear off what i was going through mm -hmm. and um but thank god i was focused exactly you know behind the scene i was working on it because mm -hmm. it's my first one so i had to know the right people mm -hmm. to work with mm -hmm. the right the, um, the the right channel mm -hmm. to 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 place my movie and mm -hmm. Because I need all those experience. Yeah. This first one is um, gathering experience. Yeah. You know, it's like a, a, a foot through the door. Yeah, so okay. that's why it took me so long. And because I didn't want to make a mistake, mistake. so I, I, I took my time. You know. No, that's understandable. You mentioned working, you know, behind the scenes with other with other creatives and, mm. you know, how to break into this Canadian Nigerian film, you know, industry. Yeah. How was the experience working with other Nigerian producers or creatives? Oh. <laughs> now we want the honest experience. <laughs> because you're talking to young viewers who also want to, who might also want to follow in these footsteps. So what was your experience like? Okay, my experience, the honest truth is this. Yeah. Um, be yourself. Mm. Nothing good come easy. Mm. You have to know yourself. You have to be focused. You have to know who you are. Mm -hmm. And you have to be humble. Mm. So do you find that these were the characteristics that took you through the door? How did it help with the people you were working with? Yeah, exactly what I said, because you meet different kind of people. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you find yourself in a situation whereby you, you say, what's this? That's true. Uh, you want to give up. No, don't give up. If you know who you are, mm -hmm. you just keep going. Keep going. Just keep going. There are different kind of people you come across. But you learn mm -hmm. from every mistake. That's true. You know, that, that is what will build you. That is what will build your bone. At the end of the day, you have something to smile about. That's interesting. Yeah. Would you say that you got a lot of help from the community? Oh, overwhelming. Overwhelming. Over, oh, overwhelming um, 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 support from the community. Mm. Overwhelming. I, be, I mean, as soon as the script was ready, yeah. I call on... Um, um, Nusao Baseki, yeah. and uh, actu actually he, he was the one that actually told me, bro, come on, what are you doing? You have to do something now. Wow. You know? So he's so, the one that encouraged you to yes, start the, a project? Yes. Oh, 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 of course, of course, of course. Um, at the time, I wasn't ready. He said, mm -hmm. James, come on, man, do something. Do so. You have to prove yourself. If you don't do something, nobody's, nobody's going to do it for you. Hmm. So I started writing the story. And okay. that became and then it uh, and yes. It and um, when I call on um, Yinka Farinde mm -hmm. Abidok, uh, uh, boss, yeah, yeah, he was quick to jump in because he <laughs> knew me right from time. Yeah, uh, George Bluetooth. Yeah, um, 
yeah, Fumi, um, Sandra. I mean, the whole community. I mean, every all the doors that I knock on, they, they were, were they were there to assist me. Hmm. So that actually um, gave me the 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 the, 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 the courage. Hmm to pursue it yeah. and to make sure that I deliver. Yeah, exactly. So, um, so it's, a, it's a good thing. It's a good thing that the, the community is behind me. Yes. Yes, I really appreciate it. I do. Thank you. Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> So this is on us appreciating the Toronto community, the Nigerians here in diaspora. Now I know that this movie not only caters to Nigerians in general. Yes. You've also you also have a wider audience. Yeah, I have I have I have a uh, Bollywood exactly. actors in it. I have the Caribbean, the Caribbean actors in it. How has the response been from these other communities in terms of support and um, what kind of response have you been receiving? Over women. Over oh, yeah? women. Um as I said, this movie will be premiered uh, October 2nd yes. here in Toronto. Yeah. And um, come December, <laughs> we're in Jamaica. Wow. Premiering <laughs> and not for sale. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, the love that I've gotten from um, the Caribbean, mm -hmm. I mean, I, 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 thank you, Caribbean. <laughs> thank you. We're coming. We're coming to Jamaica. We're coming. We're coming. <laughs> The real Africans, eh? The yeah. real Africans will come in. Yes. I mean, there has been some synergy between us and the Caribbeans for such a long time. Mm -hmm. um, and in our communities, how we support each other. From what you're saying, you had a very positive experience. Oh, yes. And oh, then, yes. Oh, and yes. then you encourage people to continue to... Yeah, that's one of the things that, that has been lined up yeah. for us in, Car in, in Jamaica to meet with um, filmmakers, filmmakers and pr um, filmmakers and, and artists, mm. musicians. So we're looking, we, we want to build that, that, that bridge, mm -hmm. you know, between um, um, both, uh, communities. Both, both community, yeah. you know. So that's one of our uh, major priority, apart from premiering the movie, yes. but also bringing this synergy the, yes so is it safe to say that we would expect so much more in the future what do we expect from you a lot mm. a lot um, um by the grace of god I'm, i'll be in nigeria mm -hmm. next year to shoot um a project okay and um after that um we'll be shooting one year mm -hmm. um in 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 toronto okay so the, um, those are the two that I have right now, and that I'm working with, I'm working on that one. I'm working with some group of um, Caribbean um, um, producers mm -hmm. too. So we have that lined up, mm -hmm. you know. So yeah. um, yes, the future is bright. The future is bright, and we'll, yes. that means we'll definitely have a lot more to see from Mr. James over here. We're going to have to take a quick short break right now, but once we come back, we're going to be discussing more about the movie Not for Sale. Stay tuned. Like, uh, You're making chubby food now. Chop? So <laughs> Have you known that woman for long? Oh my. What's all this? Oh, I took a shop. Then everything to embarrass my wife. Please, and you can hear me. Please leave my wife alone. What's the matter? Get back to work. Don't take advantage of my goodness, break. Get back to work. Listen, are you ready? Yes. Tell me right now that you're not scared. No. Are you sure? Yes, I am. See? Yes. This is the real one. Yes. You hear me so? Yes. Better trip allocation and cash out your earnings whenever you want. Download our driver apps today to sign up. Do you want to be your own boss? 
Welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is The Discussion, and I'm your host, Chelsea Okonji. We've been having an insightful conversation about the movie Not For Sale with Prince James Abifade. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you for being here. <laughs> so still on the discussion, you know, as a creative, as a director and now a producer, mm. what is the main message that you want to pass across, especially knowing that we're Nigerians in the diaspora, what message do you want to pass across with your projects, with your movies, with the things we're seeing from you? What is the main message that you want our viewers to take away from it? Um, for, from this project, I would like to advise the young coming directors and mm -hmm. producers mm -hmm. that, hey, be true to your craft, mm. be focused, and um, the only way that I feel that I know mm -hmm. and what I did was to remove those things that doesn't mean nothing. I mean, it can be human being, can be whatever, anything that does not line up mm -hmm. to your goal, to anything that will not take you to achieve who you want to be, mm. that thing you want to be in life, mm -hmm. just push them away. Push them. Just It doesn't matter. You step on, t just push them away. <laughs> push them away. Push them. Take How them out. How do you just push them away? Yeah, by not focusing on them, okay. by not, you know, there are a lot of things that you can do, yeah. you know, to just get them out of the way okay. and be focused. Be okay. focused and always pray. Pray. Prayer is the key indeed. Pray. <laughs> Prayer is the key. Yes. That's what helped me. That's what has helped you. Yeah. Now, in terms of this movie, because I know, like you said, it's your baby. You just started it. Mm -hmm. um, this is your debut. Mm -hmm. What were some of the challenges that you can advise some of our viewers so that we can avoid? <laughs> what were some of the challenges that you faced oh. in terms of production? Oh, oh, my goodness. Um, be very, very careful who you bring to your circle, who you want to work with. Mm. Try to do a little bit of research. Okay. That's one thing I miss, and I almost pay dearly for it. Oh. Thank God that uh, I, I was able to come out of it. So make sure whoever you are hiring, whoever you want to work with, yeah. do a thorough research, research mm -hmm. and have paperwork to prove so that tomorrow you can easily bring it out. Yeah. There are a lot of people there out there just want to scam you because it's your first project. Mm. And they have that tag. Oh, he's a rookie. So let's mm. quickly grab from him. That's not good. Yeah. But it's good that you highlighted what the challenge was. A lot of people, like you said, fail to do the research on you know, who they are bringing in. And because, like you said, it's your first time, you just want to bring people in. Yeah. You just you, want you, to take anything. Yeah, in. Your, your, your mindset is, I want to make a movie. Let, yeah. Let's get this let's thing get done. Let's get it done. But the people you're bringing in, yeah. you know, they, are, they have different mindsets. That's true. Because they've been there. They, they've done several projects. They know that, hey, once you do this one, you know what, what you need to do next time. So they quickly try to grab something from you. Hmm. As fast as, you know. Now, where did the inspiration for the story Not For Sale come from? Uh, what inspired you to tell oh, this story? Well, but that screen. Um, if you know Toronto very well. <laughs> <laughs> what Toronto. do you mean? For those who don't know Toronto very well. Oh, Toronto is multicultural and right. a lot of stuff going on. That's true. Toronto himself is a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Please kindly explain yourself. <laughs> I, think, I think I did. It, Toronto itself is a movie. It's, yeah, it's a movie. You know, when you're in it, you know, you understand. So is it things Toronto happen. that inspired this Oh, story? yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. We see things every day. Yeah? We see things happen every day. Does this story have any personal reference to oh. your experience in your life with Toronto? Toronto knows. They know. <laughs> <laughs> We know. I be Toronto. We don't know. We know now. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of okay. course. Toronto knows. So it's interesting. This story is going to be relatable to a lot of people a then, lot. especially those in Toronto. If you know, you know. Yeah. Basically. Now, one more thing I wanted to just ask and finalize about the process, the creative process, um, is just to let people know how 
you kept on going, even in times where you felt like you wanted to give up, what was keeping you going continuously? Oh, my goodness. First of all, I, 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 I think I didn't mention it when I was in college. I won two awards, mm. and they're so precious to me, like my baby. <laughs> so each time when I'm at home, when yeah. I've gone through, you know, challenges, mm -hmm. sometimes I want to give up. Mm. But when I sit in my living room and I look up and I see these two awards hanging up. From college. Yeah, I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> there's no way there's I can. No way. There's no way. If I can win those two there, come on, I have something to give. I have story. I can do this. And I always love to pray hmm. and I thank my wife okay my wife has been oh my goodness she has been a great supporter oh my goodness <laughs> oh my goodness so wow um, we love to hear oh yeah oh yeah, yeah. so prayer mm -hmm. and good support system good support system and focus focus because a lot of a lot of friends a lot of people mm -hmm. um, don't know why I don't relate to them the way I used to. It's oh. not because I hate you. Please, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me use this opportunity to apologize. I love you, but <laughs> it's just that I just want to be focused. There's so many drama that I said to myself, you know what? For me to achieve, to become who I want to be in life, mm -hmm. I just need that focus. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, when I see you, there's no way that I'm going to diss you. No. I just want to, I just want, I can't. No, I'm sure you, you, you know, know, they understand. That. My good friends, even, 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 even my critics, mm -hmm. I love my critics because they, they, they want that, that check, meet me. Speaking so, on critics, what yeah. has the response been so far from, you know, the movie itself? What has the response from different communities been? Oh, I, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I've, I've gotten overwhelming um, response okay. from the community, and is this what you expected? That's what every every creative person wants. Yes, <laughs> you understand. But uh, at the same time, my critics, I see them, I, I see, I see what they're doing too. But trust me, trust me. Thank you for even being my critic because. That is what I use mm. to align myself. Mm. So when you criticize me, mm -hmm. I go back home, sit down, and use that at my advantage. Okay. So don't think that I'm mad because of, <laughs> uh, no, no. And, and I, I'm still saying, please, if for some time, for some years now, you're not getting, you know, I've not been responding to you, it's not because... I don't appreciate you as a friend. No. I just want to be somebody. So mm. that is the only way I feel that I can do it. You know. But now, yeah, so when we drink, oh, we'll go drink <laughs> now. We'll go any anyhow now we'll one time we we'll go do our no shaky. Because your no, project is Yeah, done no now. shaky. Ah, no shaking. <laughs> So we look forward to seeing so much more from you in terms of projects and putting things out. We look forward to having you back on the show as well to discuss, you know, yeah. upcoming things that you're, you're, you have going on. And once again, let's just remind the people of when the premiere is and how we can get information about that. Yeah, um, the premiering is uh, October 2nd, yes. um, 2021 mm -hmm. at Luna Ballroom. Um, Jane and um, uh, Frosta, I believe. Yes, please, Toronto, come support your boy. Please, please. And I would like to use this opportunity as well to, to greet my people. People back home in Nigeria. Back home, yeah. yeah. Hmm. If you are Doni Mosi, Eguatua, Wawesi, Bime, Wawesi, Wawesi. I got a do, a do a do, a do 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 a do
And on that note, I'd like to say thank you again for coming to the studio and thank you for taking out the time. Our viewers are also appreciative. Um, you heard Mr. James, you would, if you would like to attend the premiere, you can also go on our website, www.gbkm.tv, to look at information concerning the October 2nd premiere. Um, it will be one that you don't want to miss. Once again, I'm your host, Chelsea Okunji. Thank you for joining us on the GBKM network. Remember to download our app. Just search GBKM on all iOS and Android platforms. It's free, and you can keep up with our shows. You can keep up with past shows, live shows, turn on your notifications, and see what is happening with us. Remember, I will see you next week, same time, same place. Every topic starts with a discussion. Like, uh, make you chop your food now. Chop? <laughs> Have you known my woman for long? Oh my, what's all this? Oh, I took a shot. Then everything to embarrass my wife. Please, and you can hear me. Please leave my wife alone. What's your yes. matter? Get back to work. Don't take advantage of my goodness, buddy. Get back to work. Welcome to your favorite show, The Discussion. I'm your host, Chelsea Okunji. If you are just joining us, you're tuned into the GBKM network. If you haven't yet, you should download our app. Search GBKM on iOS and Android platforms to be able to download our free app where you can keep up to date with what's going on with us, with all the OAPs, catch your live shows, catch the past shows, and also set your notifications for shows that are going on at the moment, just like this one. So you can always keep track of what we're doing with our app. Remember to download the app today. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. And most, most importantly, you get to keep up with everything that we have going on. If for some reason you're not able to download the app,